Welcome back, guys. We are going to be talking about the AdMech 8th edition. Um, do an overall, and we'll uh, start with Call after that, and then we will move on later um, videos to other units. First, overall, the AdMech's canicles have been reduced to 6. They're basically the um, canicles of the Omnisci from 7th. Uh, the effects have changed. Keywords uh, for Admex include Imperium and uh, go all the way down to Forge World. Forge World choice is important. Uh, we'll talk about that later um, in one of the areas where it's very important. And when there's a codec come out, it may be even more important. And all Admex units have the Canticles of the Omnisci, which allow them to take a benefit from a Canticle. And the great thing about Canicles now is before it was at the start of your turn, which meant if you went second, you didn't have a Canical active for your opponent's uh, first round of combat, which could be really damaging in 7th to an Admech Force. Uh, but now it starts at the um, start of each battle round. So at the beginning of whoever went first, whether that was you or your opponent, when the next battle round starts, before they do anything, you either choose or roll your canical. And yes, you get to choose or roll the canical. Uh, you don't have to do either. Uh, and once you start doing one, that doesn't prevent you from doing the other. The, the only limitations is, if you choose a canical, then um, you cannot pick the same canical to go off that's already gone off. Okay, so say if turn one I pick uh, Shroud Psalm, I could not then turn two pick Shroud Psalm again. But I can choose to roll randomly on the table, and if I was to roll the four, which is Shroud Psalm, I could have Shroud Psalm again. <clears throat> I won't talk about ways that that can be improved as well. These six canicles are. Uh, in order from 1 to 6 as they are on the table. Incantation of the Iron Soul, which now gives a uh, reroll failed morale tests. Which if uh, which is really good if you have smaller units and you really are only going to fail the morale test like on a 5 or 6, a high number. Um, no need rerolling a morale test that you're going to fail if you roll a 2 or more. <laughs> you know, that's if you have it going, you might as well try, but odds are against you in that one. Number two, Litany of the Electromancer. Much, much more weakened from what it used to be, but now it is roll a d6 for each enemy unit that is within one inch of any affected units on a roll of six. That unit, The unit being rolled for suffers d3 mortal wounds. Now, if you get that six, it's it's pretty nasty but it's not as, as devastating as it used to be and basically you have to be in close combat because within one inch you are in close combat same as it used to be in that regard number three is chant of the remorseless fist you can reroll any failed hit rolls of one for the effective units in the fight phase so when you're in close combat number four is the aforementioned shroud song Affected units gain the bonuses to their armor saving throws as if they were in cover. Units already in cover are unaffected. So you basically get cover out in the open. Uh, the cover is the, the one adjustment to the armor save, which is, which is okay. It's, it can be helpful. It can overcome um, AP bonuses from weapons like bolters, or it can give you a better armor save against things that don't have quite a good AP. So this is always a good thing. Sorry, I'm having to close something Charlie is messing with here. And I'm about to shut this computer down completely if he doesn't stop. Alright, number five. Invocation of the Machine Might. Affected units have plus one strength. Uh, it's only a one to a strength, but in certain close combat situations this could um, give you what you need to uh, cause cause some some hurt on some things. 
Number six, Benediction of the Omnicide. You can reroll failed hit rolls of one for affected units in the shooting phase. Although this one sounds great, um, it has limited effectiveness in the new ad mech, and that's because some of the bonuses that some of the characters already provide. Uh, and, but it can be effective if you have units that are not within those uh, bonus uh, affected areas that the characters are in. Alright, so that is basically the gist of the um, admin. They've lost their um, uh, data spike. That weapon is gone, so if you model it on your model, it's just another mechanical piece sticking off. It doesn't do anything. Uh, special weapons are now arc rifles, plasma calibers, transuranic arbicus. Pistol weapons are arc pistols, phosphor blast pistols, radium pistols. Melees are arc mauls, power swords, and taser guns. That's our war gear list. Pretty thin. Pretty thin war gear list. Um, hopefully, later on, when uh, Admech uh, Codex come out, uh, looking at how powerful some of the things are going to be in the Marine Codex, I'm hoping for good things from the Admech. I certainly am. Alright, moving on. Uh, they break down um, the units into Cult Mechanicus and Skatari, even though they are now one army. And, and really, it, what it ends up being is the same way it was before. Um, your Cult Mechanicus is your HQs, your heavier units, your more tougher units, and your Skatari are a lot of your weaker troopy like units and then some heavy support tanks and walkers but we are going to talk about this time Belisarius Call now Call is a 13 power rating and uh, he's in the 2 something if 250th his points or right around there he's got a movement of 6, weapon skill of 2, ballistic skill of 2 plus, strength 5, toughness 6 8 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership of 9, and 2 plus save. Armor save. Uh, he comes with Canicles of the Omnisai. This is a good thing. And while he is on the battlefield, you can add or subtract 1 to your Canicles of Omnisai roll. So when you roll that roll, you can adjust it up or down by 1. Which is a good incentive to um, basically, depending on how the battle is uh, and who you're facing, Start off with that Shroud Psalm by picking it on turn one, and then after that, just roll. Because you can adjust it up and down a little bit, and you can um, almost kind of really dial in where you're going to land and uh, get some good choices for your army for what you're going to do, as long as Call is around. Um, he has a Refractor Field, which gives him a 5-up invul save, and he has Artificer Self-Repair Mechanisms. Which means at the beginning of each of your turns, he heals a D3 wounds. So on some good rolls, could be very helpful. Now he has ability that a lot of the other um, Admech um, characters and elites have, which is Master of the Machines. At the end of your movement phase, that means after everybody's moved, Call can repair a single friendly Adeptus Mechanicus model within three inches, Daddy. not himself, and it, it, most of these are not themselves. Um, D3 wounds. The model may not be the target of Master of Machines ability more than once. So, don't care, matter of what kind of Master of Machines ability is, um, the ones for the Data Priest are slightly different, but they're still a Master of, of Machines ability. Uh, so you couldn't have like um, a data smith heal a robot and then call come and heal the same model. He could heal another robot in that unit, but not the same one. And also call is Lord of Mars. You can reroll re -roll any hit rolls in the shooting phase for friendly Mars units within six inches. So if you miss... You know what? I've read this wrong. I've read this as you can reroll misses. Um, but this says you can reroll any hit rolls in the shooting phase. So I've actually read this and played this wrong. I've read, I've read, the, I've played this as a, a, if I miss. But here's because here's um, how the when we haven't talked about this, but here's how it works uh, as far as. Um, 
shooting, hitting things, and the um, uh, modifiers. What happens is you roll the roll. So, say, like, call, oh, listen, the tech priest is, uh, well, he's not, uh, the tech priest in this year, his ballistic seal is 4 plus. So, he, say he rolls to hit somebody, and he rolls three fours and a five. Then, you go, those are all hits. If it was reroll misses, then um, no big deal, right? Uh, you would move on to the next phase, and then the next part of that would be, oh, that unit happens to um, have a special field or dark Eldar, which is minus one to your hit. Now all those fours are misses. But that's not what this ability says. It says you can reroll any hit rolls Daddy. for friendly Mars units. So what you can do is you can know that you're going to have a negative, and so go ahead and re-roll those fours that are going to become misses because you know they're going to become misses. So this is um, even more powerful than I thought and more powerful than I played it. Uh, now, just now reading it, because it says is that you can re-roll any hit rolls. Now, there's a key in there. Did you catch it? It says friendly Mars unit. That's right, because the key words that Call has are Imperium, Adeptus Mechanicus, Cult Mechanicus, Mars, Character, Infantry, Tech Priest, Belisarius Call. Yeah, let's, let's just check the keywords for another model that we've not talked about yet, but the Tech Priest Dominus. Imperium, Adeptus Mechanicus, Cult Mechanicus, Forge World, Character, Infantry, Tech Priest Dominus. Yeah, you catch that? Call is a Martian Forge World dude. To gain his benefits, you need to designate your army as from Mars, the Mars Forge World. Um, right now, with a codex, that's great. You know, you can just say we're um, from Mars, blah, 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 but when, or with the index, with the, when the codex comes out, that may change. You may want to have a different Forge World because that Forge World has uh, certain artifacts or maybe um, abilities that are sort of mimic like the uh, Space Marines um, chapter tactics. Uh, but if you do that, then, and you brought Call, then this reroll effect that he has, not going to help you. <laughs> so there, there's, a, there's a thing to think about right there. Now, Call. I'm going to discuss his weapons. I'm going to discuss one out of order. I'm going to discuss it last because it, it's um, one that is really nice. First, he has the Solar Atomizer. 12-inch range. Pretty short. But it is Assault D3. Strength 10. AP minus 4. D3 damage. And if a target is within half range, it does D6 damage. Very nasty weapon. <laughs> Very nasty. So within six inches, it can crush things. You can do what it says. It can atomize them. Arc Scourge is melee. And it is a strength times two. Call strength is five. So it ends up being strength ten. Um, AP minus one. One damage. When attacking a vehicle, this weapon has a damage of D3. So this is what you use against vehicles. Or big creatures because you need that strength 10 to ensure you wound them better. Um, his other uh, weapon is his mecha. Or nope, we're going to skip that one. His Omnisaya Axe. This is strength plus one, which only makes it strength three, but it is AP minus two. So you use this against models that have a lower toughness, but higher armor value. It is uh, two damage also each, so definitely something you use against character type models, things like that, uh, space marine captains, guys like that. And the final weapon that I'll talk about is the Mechahandrit Hive. This is a melee weapon. It is strength user, which makes it strength five. AP nothing, only one damage. But the the thing that makes this is great is because. Each time Belisarius Call fights, he can make 2d6 additional attacks with this weapon. So on top of the 4 that he makes, he can have up to 12 on this. And I'll tell you what, I have rolled a 12 on this and put a bunch of attacks out there. 
the main part of this weapon is it is Call's way of dealing with hordes, horde armies, and people who are going to have large units charge in at him. Um, instead of getting bogged down by those, he has a really good chance um, because horde army models units are typically lower strength and toughness, less wounds. He, he's going to have a chance of killing lots of them off each turn. So this is Call. Uh, Belisarius Call. He is one of only two HQ choices in Admech at this point. So um, taking him at this point is almost an auto-include. I call it the Call Babysitter List, where he sits in the middle of your army giving that bonus and uh, really kicks it up a notch for you. Belisarius Call, should you take him? I think at this point, until the Codex comes out, it really need to take him. If you don't have him, um, you're going to have to go with the Tech Priest, but um, really try try to get yourself Call, the model, and get, get him out on the table, because he does a lot of good things for your army. Uh, being able to adjust your canicles on a random roll, and so having a chance to reuse some of those. Uh, being able to re-roll any to hit rolls that you want, so making sure you have a chance of hitting things even after um, modifiers from an opponent, or things like the, the big Castellan robots who are only hitting on a 4 and then when they move with their heavy weapons it makes it a 5 to hit. Uh, so when you move with them their, their hit chances are pretty low but when you get that reroll it really really boosts that up a lot. Call is definitely a auto include right now in the army. He is an awesome choice and uh, you definitely should get him. My call here is almost complete. He's just waiting for me to paint up right here these guys to final stage so that him and all them can get their bases and uh, five Electro Priests. Alright guys, we will talk to you later.